All right, Rich Marriott, please explain what happened Saturday night. It happens about once a decade. We get everything comes together just right. It was a very sharp upper level, level, I can say this, disturbance moving in. We had, it was kind of a moist afternoon. It was really warm, so there was a lot of energy in the atmosphere. And it just, this thing came up out of Oregon and kind of rotated up into us. And it was interesting. I was at the Husky game. Oh, you were? Yes, oh, I, I was. I, I was you, at the Husky uh, game. It was really media. interesting. Probably one of the most interesting parts of it was as soon as they put up an extreme weather warning and asked people to leave their seats, you could not get anything in or out on your cell phone. The bandwidth was just gone. Wow. I mean, I was trying to take pictures and get stuff out of there, and it was just, it was impossible for a while. Fascinating. Finally, my, battery, my phone was like soaking wet. We, we maintained our seats, which were not undercover, because we weren't on the metal benches. So. Right. But this is, a friend of mine was with me, uh, uh, Corey Vogel took this shot right in the middle of the thing, which is pretty impressive. You'll notice the people that are still left in the seats are sitting there <laughs> undercover. Hardcore so. Husky fans. Yeah, it was almost a two and a half hour delay. Yeah. It was pretty impressive. And we actually, I hate leaving before a game's over with, but at halftime, which occurred at 1130, yeah. mind you, we also have an alarm clock that comes into our bedroom at seven, regardless of what time we went to bed. <laughs> so we, we made the decision it was maybe a good yeah, idea to go home at that point. Call. As it turned out, it was, a, it was a good choice, sadly. But well, yeah, so nothing like this on the horizon right now. We might see a couple of thunderstorms around this afternoon, but it's not going to be why the widespread kind of Midwestern type thunderstorm we saw there on uh, Saturday night. You can take a look uh, there at waterfront camera. We do have showers around this morning. Pretty quiet morning. It's a little on the damp side, nothing too extreme. You see some showers around, most of them not down in the, the uh, I-5 quarter, so we're in pretty good shape there. See some kind of just to the south of Olympia now. We're watching uh, some fairly wet weather up around Mount Vernon and Bellingham to begin the day. Checking temperatures mostly in the uh, mid to upper 50s to start off today. A few low 60s in some of the warmer spots. Overall for today, we're going to be looking for showers around mixed in with uh, some sun breaks. Temperatures getting into the mid to upper 60s. There is a chance of an afternoon thunderstorm today, so keep that in mind. Partly sunny tomorrow, just a couple of leftover showers. Hours. They'll be clearing as we head towards the afternoon, mid to upper 60s. Wednesday, morning clouds and sunshine, upper 60s and low 70s. Pushing into the mid 70s Thursday, but we'll see increasing clouds. Should see some showers overnight Thursday, but by Friday, partly sunny, just a couple leftover showers again, mid to upper 60s. Increasing showers in the afternoon on uh, Saturday and look like increasing rain as we head towards Sunday and temperatures over the weekend, upper 60s and low 70s. A little below our normal highs, which are actually still in the mid 70s.